So Game Maker's really been going all in on what I think I'm going to call GML language micro-conveniences as of late. And starting in the June of 2023 betas for Game Maker, if you were to have a collection of a few variables, let's say weekday is Thursday, the day is the 18th, the month is May, and if you were to show message, let's say today.weekday, uh, show message today.day and show message today.month. Previously in GameMaker, writing this would have failed to compile because this would have been invalid syntax, but starting with the, uh, the most recent betas for June of 2023, uh, we can see that uh, with this simple struct assignment notation, today.weekday is Thursday, today.day is 18, and today.month equals May. And that's a... Uh, this is a very minor, but um, occasionally convenient shortcut that you can use for uh, defining structs now. So if you have a collection of uh, local variables, and if you basically want to just bundle them together into a struct, you no longer have to do a somewhat redundant looking weekday, colon, weekday, day, colon, day, month, colon, month, the way that you would have had to do before. Again, a very minor change, but occasional convenient. And of course, you can mix and match this with other uh, strict assignments if you want. So if you want year to be, uh, what is the current year? I don't know. Some other variable, let's say the weather is sunny, some other attribute that might be uh, grouped together with these. Um, of course, you can mix and match this. And you can get GameMaker to correctly uh, tell you what the, what the current year is, what the current weather is, uh, when you print it out with this notation. Okay. So that's all there really is to it. This will work for instance variables as well as local variables. Uh, so if you have an instance variable tied to the scope of uh, whatever code is running this, uh, this will still work. Uh, that is probably not a shortcut that I personally will be taking very often because I tend to prefer to prefix my instance variables with self uh, to the chagrin of many of you as I have learned. But regardless, that is an option. Because I know that someone eventually is going to ask, this is a compile time shortcut, it is not a performance optimization in any way, shape, or form in your actual game when it's running. If you check the compiled bytecode of this and the manual assignments, it will be exactly the same. That is pretty much it. I hope you find this useful. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. I try to post about two game dev videos a week, one tutorial tutorial and one let's make a game. I've also increasingly often been covering new additions that appear in the game maker betas. I've got a Patreon, so if you want to contribute to the channel, links to that can be found in all the usual places. Otherwise, I will see you all later. Special thanks to Zenjamin, Vitro V, Squarecrow, Sindra Larson, Manta Ray, Harold Guidry, Game Maker, Edward Holt, DJ Gibbles, and Army Armbuster for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.